Welcome back to Bizarre Repairs ah, and Reviews. All right, guys, so you guys know I'm plotting Shia. I got six 10 terabyte hard drives inside of this bad boy, and guess what? I ran out of hard drive space. I got no more SATA ports on my board, no more space in my drive bay over here, and I don't know what to do. So I have three 10 terabyte hard drives that I wanted to install, and I can't. So they're just sitting here waiting to be plotted. So what I did is I uh, went on eBay and I found this little bracket that will attach to these three hard drives. And I figured I can throw it right up here where the um, drive bay goes to where you'd put like a CD-ROM drive or something like that right up top. So I'm hoping it will fit. And then I can run the cables down and plug into this bad boy, a PCI 3.0 to 4 point SATA uh, controller. So if I throw that in, I should get four additional uh, SATA ports, which will be perfect. I'll be using three of those for these three hard drives. And if this works, maybe I can even add some hard drives uh, down here, or maybe I can even do some external, but I wanna keep them in the case if I can. So with that said, let's get started. We'll get these hard drives attached. We'll get the uh, controller placed in, and hopefully or not, uh, if we have to download drivers, we'll do that as well. Hopefully Windows picks it up, but we'll see if this works. And if it does, I will now have 90 terabytes of hard drive space to plot Chia, and that would be really cool. Maybe I can start getting some blocks, because up until now, I only got two. All right, so with that said, let's get started. Okay, so what I hit, uh, went ahead and did is just laid out a nice uh, big blue rag so I can um, put the hard drives down safely. So I'm just unpacking them all here, just so I can have them uh, laid out properly All right, there's two we're just gonna go ahead and get the last one out and placed on the blue rag alright there we go so now what I'm gonna go ahead and do is just open up the uh, bracket which is just two metal pieces and some screws really simple design but it works uh, really well this is the first time I've ever needed this many hard drives, so uh, this device came in pretty handy. I'll also put the link in the description to where I got that as well. Okay, so now what you want to do, just uh, lift the uh, hard drives up uh, per the instructions and just put them on their side. And you want to put them pretty close to each other. As you can see, they're going to need to be even closer than this once you lay the bracket down. And once the bracket is laid down, you can actually just kind of move the hard drives in until the um, holes match up. You could probably even put um, the bracket on just one and do one at a time that way. Either way will work. As you can see, the bracket kind of slides down with the hard drives, but you know if you hold them properly. You'll, you'll get it. All right, as you can see, uh, the holes are pretty lined up. They don't need to be completely identical because I'm going to put the screws in, but I'm not going to tighten them fully. So just insert them in, kind of screw down just a little bit, but don't fully tighten. And just make sure you get all six of them in. And when you do, same thing, don't tighten it. Just go ahead and flip it around and then start the process again. All right, so this is the last screw. We'll leave them just a little tighten but not fully and then we'll go ahead and just flip it upside down like so alright now this side's a little easier because the everything should be lined up so we'll just get all these in and as soon as all these are in then you can go ahead and tighten down fully Alright, 
everything looks pretty tight just going around making sure I don't want these screws coming loose later so now we can go ahead and tighten up this side Looks good, very sturdy. Really, really like it actually. All right now, we're going to go ahead and put the SATA controller in. And I have three PCI slots, so I'm just going to use the one at the top. That way, I have enough slack with my uh, SATA, ca uh, SATA cables. And this is really easy, it just slides right in, and then one screw to hold the bracket in place. All right, so one thing I noticed, um, the hard drives would be sitting directly onto the frame and I didn't want them to touch the metal um, there's some components on the back of the hard drive that I just don't want it to short out so I grabbed a little rubber piece that I found in my shop that I'm gonna sit the hard drives on so I'm just gonna take an exacto knife and cut out uh, a little rectangle that the hard drives can sit on And I'm going to cut out a slight piece of cardboard where the rubber can sit on that. Now I know this is a little ghetto. Ideally you would want like, I don't know, maybe a little piece of metal or a piece of wood that can raise it up. And I'll probably find that later, but I just wanted to get it going for now. So as you can see, you'll see when I put it into the frame, it needs to be raised uh, just slightly. And now I'm throwing in the piece of cardboard with the rubber on top. And as I said later on, I'll find a way to bracket this down. I just want to get it in and see if it actually works. Okay, so sorry for the lighting, um, but it's in. I know you can't really see the ports too much. My I'll get some better lighting in the shop, but it's there where you can actually start to plug in. So here I'm just going to start with the SATA connectors, just going to plug in all three so they're in place. perfect all three are in place and they fit really good now I'm just putting the power cable in Make sure they're nice and snug. So that's the three powder power cables, three data cables. So we're looking good. And I'm just going to go ahead and plug in the power cable to my power supply. And then the data cables right over to the PCI uh, SATA controller. And it's cool because two of them are really close. And then just one of them will be on the side. All right, so that's how it looks. Uh, I'm gonna get the wires cleaned up later. Like I said, I just wanna make sure this works. And once it does, then I'll get everything cleaned up and secure. But that's how it looks, so let's uh, get this thing powered on. And one quick note, I did find a way that I think I'm going to bracket it down. Um, 
this screw right here I may be able to find a screw that can fit right through there and that will keep it bracketed down I know it's only one screw but I can also drill another one if I need to and then like I said the wires all get uh, looking a lot better I promise alright so now I went ahead and just turned on my computer so everything booted up fine so that's the first start I just went ahead and booted up Chia just to make sure everything was good. We're good. You can see I got the two blocks, uh, 546 plots, so we're good there. But let's go ahead and minimize that. That's not what we're looking for right now. So let's see by just uh, typing in disk, and you can go to create and format hard disk if these disks pop up. And bam, yes, they did. So I did not have to install any drivers at all. Uh, Windows 10 uh, perfectly picked them up. So we're just going to go ahead and initialize these things, and then I'll assign them drive letters, and then we can start plotting. Okay, so let me just scroll down here, and you can see that we have disk 6, 7, and 8. All these are unallocated, so it's perfect. Let's just right-click it, new simple volume, click next, next, and I'm just going with the uh, drives at the very bottom like so. T uh, volume labels that I'm calling them. I'll just call them Chia T. Quick format is fine. Finish. And we'll just go through and do these other two as well. Perfect. New simple. Next, next. Same thing. All the way down, let's do S. There we go. Chia S, quick format. Perfect. All right, and last but not least, let's do R. Chia R, perfect, finish. Perfect, all right, so we're good there. Let's go ahead and close that down, open up our file explorer, and we should see all of them here. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Let's check the properties. And we have nine terabytes of free space. 9 terabytes of free space and 9 terabytes of free space. So, okay, we're good there. So, pretty much we are good to go. Now we can just start plotting. We just expand that and let's do add plot. I'm just going to do 5 for now. Plot in parallel. I do these about 15 minutes apart. I have a really good CPU, but uh, I like to be a little cautious, okay? Just go to documents. This is my SSD that I select from. And then from here, we're just going to go and select R. Oh, actually, let me, one second. I've been creating new uh, folders. Call them Chia Final. All right, so that'll be R. We're all good. We're just going to do five. Create plot. Alright, let's just do one more. Five parallel. I was doing six, but a couple times my computer froze, so five seems to be the sweet spot for me. Alright, and let's just go back for S. Chia final. And select. All right, S. 15 minutes delay, five. All right, we're good. Let's go ahead and create plot. Okay, so we are plotting. We are good. As you can see up here, I got 54 terabytes. Um, 546. I've only got two block rewards, but I'm trying to get this down. I got four months as my estimated time to win. So hopefully, with these three uh, 10 terabyte 
hard drives, I can get that down uh, lower, hopefully maybe two months or something like that. And then if I find another way to get more hard drives in, I will. I'll probably order another one of those PCI um, cards and maybe three more hard drives and get that installed. But I'll keep you guys updated. So with that said, I got about nine going and I got a plane overhead. So I'm going to go ahead and end this video. Thank you guys for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you on the next one. Good night.